how much weight do you put in the actual idea behind a startup versus the execution? I mean, I, I've always said, I think any idea can work. I, it's not about the idea and it's all about execution. It's about execution. It's, it's, it's VCP. It's vision capital people. You have to have a big vision um, for whatever idea it is. And it doesn't matter what it is. You need to be able to hire great people and raise capital. And if you can do that, uh, it could be a really big, successful business. I mean, people look back and say, wow, that was such a great idea, diapers.com. And I say, really? Because <laughs> all we're doing is selling diapers over the internet. You know, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't the idea at all. And, uh, you know, I think it never is really. And, and I've seen great ideas fail and bad ideas work. And it, it always comes back to the, to the founder, the team, their ability to raise capital and, and sort of think big and, and shape that, that vision of the future. What was your process for raising capital early on? Uh, begging, basically. <laughs> you know, the very first startup, uh, there was, you know, we didn't raise any venture capital or anything like that. It literally Were you all worked. in at this point personally? Uh, that, but that first startup, you know, I invested 390000 into that startup. And uh, I, I mean, investors would ask me, I just have a question here. It says 390000 why didn't you just invest four hundred? That's kind of a weird number. And I said, "Well, because I don't have four hundred. I only had three hundred ninety thousand in my bank account, and literally took the bank account and just boom, invested the whole thing." And yeah, I was all in. You can say, but but it's funny. It's it's self fulfilling because being all in in that way, you know, built the confidence up of investors to say, "Wait, this guy can't fail. Like he can't afford to fail. He has to make this work." <laughs> 